about three minutes after liftoff. And here it comes. Based off the SpaceX timeline, we're coming up on Miko here in now less than 10 seconds. Here you see Miko. And back ignition. Stage one boost back startup. Good confirmation of those sequence of events. Kind of a nifty shadow on the Falcon 9 first stage booster. Now three minutes into flight in real time. Payload fairings will have jettisoned now at this point in real time, waiting for those events from the onboard cameras in just a few seconds. There you see those payload fairings separate. You can see the Worldview Legion satellites there. SpaceX set to recover those fairing halves using their recovery vessel called Bob, named after former NASA astronaut Bob Bankin, one half of the duo that flew the Demo-2 mission back in May of 2020. Confirmation of the boost back shutdown. Coming up next is the first stage entry burn, which is set to begin at about T plus six minutes in real time. Seeing those hypersonic grid fins deploy from the Falcon 9 first stage. Again, that entry burn set to begin now in less than two minutes. Those pulses that you're seeing on the first stage booster, those are the cold gas thrusters helping to adjust the attitude of the positioning of the first stage booster as it makes its way towards Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. As a nice visual on the reorientation of the first stage booster, you can see its shadow moving almost like a clock handle going backwards. You can see they're jutting up from the center of the rocket from our position here on the camera. <laughs> 